In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the sum of the interior angles of any polygon. I have four different types of examples for you, but before we tackle them, you need to know the following formula in order to find the sum of the interior angles. And it's shown right here. S is equal to N minus 2 times 180. And if we express this algebraically, S, which refers to the sum of all the interior, is equal to 180 bracket N minus 2, where N represents the number of sides of the polygon, the shape. So let's start with the simplest of the four examples. We are expected to find the sum of the interior angles of a 12-sided shape shown below. Now, first, we have to define our n value, which was stated as being 12. Then we use the formula s is equal to 180n, which is 12, minus 2. And we end up with 180 times 10 is equal to 180 or 1,800 total degrees. There you have it. That's question number one. Question number two asks, a regular polygon has all sides equal and all, si and all angles equal. So that's the definition of a regular uh, polygon. So here we have a hexagon. And notice that every side is equal. What is the measure of each interior angle in a regular hexagon? So we're going to use the formula. S is equal to 180N minus 2. Hexagon is cons consists of six sides. So it's 6 minus 2, 180 times 4. And the answer is... 720. Now remember, the question is asking what the measure of each interior angle of this regular hexagon is. So what we need to do is we need to find each individual. And the way we do that is we take our number and we divide it by the number of sides, which is equal to 6. So if we do that, we end up with 120 degrees. Let's move on to question number 3. In question number three, they want us to find the measure of each interior angle of a regular octagon. So, once again, an octagon is eight sides. So we'll use S is equal to eight minus two times 180. Six times 180 degrees is equal to six times... 180 is equal to 1080. And now since they want us to find each individual interior angle, we're going to divide this by 8. And we end up with 135 degrees per angle. Lastly, in our final question, which I find to be the most trickiest of the four, this time they give us an interior angle of 144 and they don't tell us the number of sides. So we have to work backwards. Now re remember that if we have a shape, let's say any shape, let's just show a perfect regular triangle. This is a regular triangle at 60 degrees, 60 degrees and 60 degrees. And if we were to find the exterior angles of this triangle. This would be 120, this would be 120, and this would be 120. And if we add these exterior angles together, we end up with 360. And, and what's fascinating is that whatever shape you choose, even if it's a, let's say it's a square, a perfect square, and this is 90, 90, 90, and this is 90, then the exteriors would be 90, 90, 90, 90. And if you add up the 90s, you end up with 360 degrees. So we can generalize and say that all angles will have a sum of exterior angles of 360 degrees. 
So let's draw out what we see here. In this situation, we have 144 degrees, one interior angle. And if we find the exterior angle by taking 180 minus 144, we end up with 36 degrees. And we know that 36 times, remember, this is your n value for these shapes right for these for these shapes of known sides if we multiply 36 by an n value you should get 360 degrees and by figuring out what n is you can easily find out the number of sides of this unknown polygon and you have to either guess and check depending on the level that you're at or you can solve for n you can solve for n quite easily by dividing both sides by 36. And if you divide both sides by 36, you get an n value of 10. And that is how to figure out the number of sides for this regular polygon. I'll give you a second to look at that. And hopefully this video has helped you understand how to find the sum of interior angles of any shape. And if you have any questions related to this video, please comment below. And if you found it helpful, uh, a like or a share will be appreciated. If you have any further questions, you can use our website at biology-forums.com. And it's shown at the bottom right corner. We'll see you soon.